students play. Uh, she played actually quite well. Jessica did all her pieces just the way we went over them and everything went really good. The examiner was really cool. His name's Arnie. Or, I shouldn't say examiner. He's actually an adjudicator. But he is really <laughs> hilarious. Like, uh, yeah. Like at one point he's just like, okay, I want you to play loud. And then he's like, I'm going to walk out of this church and let's see how, if I can still hear you when I'm outside the doors here. So he like actually walks out and then he couldn't get back in because he locked himself out. <laughs> so I so had to help him back in and he's just like, uh, he's just like, oh, I couldn't get in. <laughs> it's just like people planned that, didn't they? So everyone's like just la like laughing. It's hilarious. But yeah, so anyway, uh, I'm playing later tonight actually. This might be one of my last times in the festival, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I was already dressed up nice and everything, so I was like, hmm, well, might as well just do a lesson anyway, since, like, I don't really have too much to do today. Today's one of my day off, days off, actually. So I thought I'd do another lesson, and this lesson is going to be, it's not going to be too long. Uh, it'll be on how to roll a chord, and what, there's two types of different rolled chords. So... The very first one is, it's kind of like a roll for an effect. Now if you watched my last piece, it's called Pas de Deux. Uh, you notice there's this one spot where I'm doing this. Now listen to that. So you're hearing that. So. so that you know what it looks like and you'll know when you need to roll a chord or not. Okay, so let's get in nice and close here. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do... Okay, so here's the sheet music. Now, if you see this sign right here... Now let's get behind the camera so I can see if this is actually on the screen. Okay, so you see this? This little squiggly line thing right here. That means you're going to roll the chord. So you're going to go do 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 do. You just play it all in a row. So whenever you see a squiggly line thing like that, you're going to be rolling the chord. And it always means that you're going to be rolling up, never down, always up. So you always go from the bottom top. So that's what a rolled chord articulation actually looks like. Now, there's two reasons we might want to play a rolled chord. The first reason would be... The first reason is an effect. So when we, do a sol uh, when we do a rolled chord, it gives you a different effect. Now, here, I'll play it without rolling the chord. Right 
So we've got little rolled chords in the bottom, like this. because it actually serves a purpose. Um, the second, so the first reason is one effect, to create an effect with the rolled chord. There's also like some Beethoven pieces where he has some rolled chords. He's, going he's trying to accent the dominant seventh note, resolving back to the tonic. Now here, in this piece, he's doing, he's actually using both in the same, con uh, at once almost. In this Brahms piece here, he's using these ones for effect. Uh, yeah, I can't play right now. It's too early in the morning, it's only 9. I don't usually get up until like 11.30. I know, and you're probably thinking, wow, he's a lazy guy. <laughs> yeah, it's because I stay up so late. It's bad. But I don't have to teach until usually 3 o'clock or 3.30, so... Can you really blame me? <laughs> I've never been a morning person. Anyway. Okay, so. Now the second reason is... Uh, what if we tried to play... Okay, here. Now you're probably going to need to see this. Yeah. Okay. So. Now, the chord says that they want me to play this note, this note, and that note all at the same time. Now, unless you rock mon and off, <laughs> as you can see, I cannot reach those chords. I can reach these two. I can reach these. So, here's the second uh, way you actually use a rolled chord. You actually use, you start out here, and you roll into the chord, and it actually makes it sound together. So you can join notes, notes and chords that would normally be too big for your own reach. So that's why if you can reach an octave, you can basically play anything because you can just roll the other chords you need. Like uh, in Revolutionary Etude by Chopin. Uh, can't remember. Yeah, there's actually a chord where you have to roll this note, this note, this note, and this. So that's, as you can see, much bigger than an octave. That's a, it's a nice twelfth there. Ah. Yeah. Well, I can't play. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's in the third page of the Revolutionary Tude. I could find it actually. Do 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 do. Aha! See this chord? Look how huge that one is. It starts all the way there. Oh, I was actually playing the wrong notes. Yeah, that's actually what you're supposed to play. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, but as you can see though, that's still too big. I can't reach that chord, can you? Can you reach this A, this D, this A, and that D at the same time? No, I can't. So we roll it, and as you can see, there's a rolled symbol there. So that's why it's there. The reason the roll is there, probably not for effect, but base. it could be to add effect, but the main reason it's there is so that you can reach all the notes. So, that's my little blurb on rolled chords. That's basically it. I know, this is a pretty short lesson, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. So, my website, uh, which I'm very excited for, is coming up very soon, actually. March 5th, so in about a week and a half or so. So the form is uh, basically up now, actually and uh, everything's going good. So on March 5th, I'm going to be releasing a video, so look for that, and I'm going to be giving you the link and all the information about it, of my website. So uh, log on sometime on March 5th. I'll probably be putting it out sometime in the morning, maybe even like midnight when I, <laughs> my time. I, I live in BC, so like, uh, you know, I'm three hours behind people that are on like the east coast of North America and I really have no idea about other countries because I don't memorize their time zones. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, but yeah. 
I'll probably be putting it up sometime the tail end of March 5th. So, uh, if you're in another country like Tokyo or something. Or, that's not a country, a city, Tokyo, you know, Japan. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not a morning person. My brain isn't really functioning. Uh. <laughs> this is fun. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, I hope you found that helpful. Even though, you know, I could barely talk or even play. <sighs> I think I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> go sleep for another hour or two. Anyway, okay, well, look for my uh, next video, it'll be coming out March 5th. Uh, the other ones are basically, I probably won't be posting up another lesson until then, but maybe, I might. I'm, I need some more ideas, I've actually reached the end of where I had drawn up to. I had like four or five lessons all sketched out, and now I need to sketch up some new ideas. So, I'm, if I'm going to teach anything more on theory, which as you see I haven't been doing, it's because I lost the whiteboard I had before. So I need, I'm going to have to get a whiteboard or something. Uh, I don't want to shell out the money for a whiteboard. But I might have to. Anyway, so uh, if I do get a whiteboard or something like that, maybe I'll start sketching up some new things to do with music theory, like maybe music terms or harmony, possibly. Or uh, maybe I'll get into some scale writing and stuff like that, who knows. Uh, if you guys have some ideas, drop me a line in an email message. Now, I remember I was telling you I got a lot of email messages, and that doesn't mean that I don't want you to send them. It just means that if I don't reply right away, don't get mad. <laughs> yeah. But I read every single one of them, usually within about a day that I, you send them out. So, be sure to drop, like... I've had messages where people tell me things and I'm like, hmm, okay, well, since like five people just asked for this certain thing, or ten people, or sometimes a little bit more, sometimes less, but if I think the idea is good, then I'll be like, okay, I'm going to do a lesson on it. So yeah. Okay, well, sorry about all this blah, 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 blah talking. <laughs> okay, well, you guys take care. Bye-bye.